All right, so now we are going to learn about heap sort. So the way that heap sort works is that this is our first uh, n log n algorithm. Um, and heap sort's kind of special. Uh, we are going to use a heap, but rather than doing with, dealing with a min heap, we are going to deal with a max heap. Okay, which means that the largest item is going to end up at the top of the heap um, in a max heap. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. And I'm going to go ahead and just put this into this perspective of a heap's point of view, right? Remember that basically a heap is just kind of got an array list that just lies underneath of it. So there's the root, right? There's the two children, right? And there's the children for those, right? Okay, so I'm just going to spread this out, right? There's all the children. Now let's just try to line these up better because... Yeah, I'm not. Okay. So there's the heap and there's its children. Okay, so here's our root, right? And the way this has got to work is that we've got to put our, um, the smallest item at the top. Now the most efficient way to make a, to turn anything into a max heap, to turn any array into a max heap, is to start, is to do the whole, what's called, um, the bottom up push down method. So basically we start from the last item in the heap and basically we push it down. Is there any basically does this need to sink? Now here, remember, rather than heavier items sinking, right, the bigger items sinking, it's kind of like can be reversed. So these smaller items sink to the bottom, whereas the bigger items, they are more buoyant and will float to the top. So boom, we push this down. It doesn't have anywhere to go, it's at bedrock. Okay. What about this one? We'll push this one down, nowhere to go. What about this one? Right, we push all these down. They have nowhere to go. Okay. Now over here, we push this one down, and so we need to put, swap it with the light with its lighter. Sorry, with its bigger parent, with its bigger child. Okay. Same thing over here. We're going to swap it with its bigger child. It doesn't have a bigger child. It's the biggest thing, so it's good. What about this one? This one we will swap with its bigger child. And then we'll swap with our bigger child, but this is the biggest child. So we've made a max heap, All right? So we have a max heap here. Okay. So everybody see how we just swap things to turn into a max heap. Now this is called the heapify algorithm, where basically we start, we push down all these guys, then we push each of these guy, these children down, and we push down the root. This takes O of n time. Basically, it you know does it doesn't actually take O of n squared time anymore. O or even n log n time, it's, it takes a little bit of time to turn that into a heap. Now, for um, now, how does the actual sorting algorithm work? Well, we've got the biggest item. So what we're going to do is that we are going to remove it. Right? But where does it go? Well, we don't want to use up any extra space uh, with, our sorting, with this sorting algorithm. So what we're going to do is that we are going to put this, um, rather than removing it, right? Normally, the way a removal algorithm works for the heap is that we write, we take the last item in the heap, and we you know, remove the root, move this to its front, right, just like that, and this item ends up going nowhere. Well, rather than going nowhere, we're going to place it at the end of the heap, and just remember that this is like kind of no longer in the heap, okay? Makes sense? And now we push, then basically we say, okay, is this bigger than, um, you know, is do I have a child that's bigger than me, right? Because there's a max heap. If I do, that gets swapped up. Do I have a child that's bigger than me? Uh, no, I do not, because remember, this guy is kind of out of the heap. Okay, and then we just do that. So this is the item to swap out. This guy is now out of the heap. Okay, and so now we do, we need to push down. Do I have a child that's bigger than me? Yes, so I swap. Does this have a child that's bigger than me? No, these guys are out of the heap, remember? We can kind of push them to the side over here if we really want to, but I remember, they're kind of in the heap, but we are considering them not to be. Okay, so now, okay, we go, now this is the root, or the top of the heap. So now we remove it, and we move the next item to the top. Okay, and so we will now, now we ask, do I have a child that's bigger than me? Yes, I do. Which one is the biggest one? This one is. 
Do I have children to swap with? No, I do not. These three, remember, are out. So now this guy will be the next one to go out. This is the next one to take. Okay, do I have a child that's bigger than me? Yes, I'm going to swap, and then I'm done. Okay, so now this is the next guy out, and now we remove this note. So now remember, these guys are out. Okay, do I have a child that's bigger than me? No. Okay, now I swap with my child. Okay, do I have a child that's bigger than me? No, I'm the only one left. So Okay, so if you're the only one left, we're done. So now if I go ahead and stop looking at this. Now remember, this is just a point of view. All This has actually all been happening on, uh, on an array that's under on a underlying array. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that underlying array, right? Let's go ahead and say, move, let's move this here, right? Move these guys here. And then take these guys, move them here, right? That's the underlying array. It is sorted. So how long does that take? Well, it takes all of n time to build the heap. Okay, O of n time to heapify, and then O of n time to take this to heap to do the sort part of it. Sorry, n log n time to do the sort part of it. Why n log n? Well, because each layer can potentially to each removal operation can to potentially take log n time. Okay, each removal operation at worst case takes all, you know, each sorry, quote unquote removal, right? Takes log n time, but there's n of them, so it's n log n. Make sense? Okay, now let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and sort these around and do one more example before we terminate. But heap sort is pretty good because you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to take n log n time. But it's that O of n plus n log n, so there is that consideration. But what makes heap sort really good is that if you like need to do a rolling kind of sort, um, which is way, which is a bit more advanced than what we want to get into for this. If we want to do kind of a rolling sort, heap sort is like kind of good for sorting a subset of stuff. So let's go ahead and take this item. We're going to go ahead and make a heap. So this, this is our sorted list. Let's go ahead and make a heap out of this. This is the root. These are the root's children, right? These are the next child. These are these children, and these are these children over here. Slide it over. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and heap. So now we've got in the heap point of view, but that wasn't enough. This is the, still the same array. So now we need to turn this into a heap. So push down, push down, push down, push down. Okay, do I have a child that's bigger? Push down. Do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes, swap. Okay. Um. Then it's further push down. Push down. Do I have a child that bigger that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes, I do. So swap. Okay. And now I'm done with that guy. Now. Okay. And now here. Do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes. So I swap. Yes. So I swap. Okay. Boom. We've created a heap, a max heap specifically, right? Okay. Now what do we do? Well, we remove this item and we put it at the end put the item at the end up and that we consider this guy out of the heap right so I can kind of cover it out now okay now I gotta ask this guy do I have some a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up right the heavier stuff the bigger stuff rises up in this case yes I do and now do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up yes I do right okay so this is the state of the heap this guy remember is out okay so what about so now I just do the same. This guy is removed. We can move him back. To, we move him with the thing. We move him to whatever just replaced him. So now I've got to ask, do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes. And I have no children left, right? These guys are not in the heap cons uh, from our point of view. So we're done there. So now we remove this guy. Child bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes. Okay, so these three are out. Okay, now we're over here. Do I have a child that big right remove? Do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Yes, we're done. Okay, now remove this and replace it with this one. Do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? Nope. Okay. So now I remove this guy. Get this guy over here. Do I have a child that's bigger than me that needs to come up? I have no children left. I'm the last one. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we move it to the we move it back into the array point of view. That takes no time because again, we're just simply viewing it in a different manner and it's sorted.
Okay, heap sort's a very effective algorithm. Okay, um, and it takes n log n time, which makes it really good.